Consumer behavior has shifted over the past year with digital channels gaining more popularity during the pandemic. But is that shift here to stay? Courtney Reagan has that for us. Hey, Court. Hi there. Good morning, Morgan. So retail industry experts say the pandemic accelerated trends that would have played out over four or five years into just several months. Online sales surged 41% in 2020 over 2019, according to Adobe. And the surge in online sales isn't expected to retreat entirely when things normalize. COVID-19 may end up to be the unexpected tipping point that shifts the majority of retail sales online from in-store. While well, more purchases shift online with every passing year, for most traditional brick-and-mortar first retailers, in-store total sales have been far larger until the pandemic. For non-essential retailers, online shopping was shoppers' only option while stores were closed. Last spring, stores reopened, but online sales remained elevated and store traffic remains sharply depressed. The pandemic may be that fulcrum that permanently tips the scale in favor of digital. 55% of Nordstrom sales were digital channels in the fourth quarter, up from 35% a year prior. The retailer forecast half of its sales will be online this year. That's up from 33% for 2019, pre-pandemic, of course. American Eagle Outfitters saw 45% of total sales online in 2020. That was up from 29%. Macy's now calling itself a digitally-led retailer. Walmart U.S. CEO John Ferner said it saw three times the digital growth it expected pre-COVID, seven times more deliveries. And Ferner said, quote, we believe that represents lasting permanent change. But huge online sales doesn't always mean massive store closures because retailers see online sales fall in areas where stores close because many shoppers are using the platforms together for pickups, returns, and just generally to shop. Plus, multi-platform customers spend more than those that shop in just one channel or the other. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.